The Cleveland Flea just wrapped up its first market of the year a few hours ago. It is a great place for Clevelanders to find some unique art and food. But as News 5's Jay Jarvis explains now, it also has a bigger goal. All of the businesses here at the Flea are independently owned, including Paper Cuts right behind me, which features all kinds of incredible artwork made from vintage paper. This market gives the owner of Paper Cuts and other creatives a launching pad to turn their hobbies into full-blown businesses. It all started back in 2013, and it has any and everything you can think of, from handmade clothing, jewelry, and furniture, to vintage pieces that you can't find anywhere else. And if you're a foodie, there's also a lot of tasty stuff to eat. The founder tells us she started this whole thing to make the creative community here stronger and more close-knit, and to put Cleveland on the map as a place where creative businesses can flourish. It also aims to be a matchmaker, both between shoppers and businesses, and between business owners. I didn't know I actually had um, a business until I did the flea and we sold out at that show so I realized that I can do this and that's when then I started with them that following year with the uh, the, um, the summer season so it's huge I mean it's really it's launched so many of us um, and the community's great um, people come out no matter what and the, I mean it's something everyone looks forward to it's really it is my best show in Cleveland. The Cleveland Flea is held quarterly, so in spring, summer, fall, and winter, the next time you can visit is the weekend of July 13th and 14th. In Cleveland, Jay Jarvis, News 5.